Hello, everybody, and welcome to our first Track Lab webinar. Thank you very much for joining. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Birgit. I am working for the um, European Middle East and African Marketing Team, and um, together with my colleague Paula, I'm responsible for um, our ASLI development programs, and um, one of the most important programs there is our Track Lab program. I think most of you guys have met us um, already on site at one of our tri club qualification races um, this year or even also last year. So um, you hopefully know um, both of us. Um, quickly to our webinar, this will take about half an hour and will explain you um, more details about the program, what it is about, how the registration works, and and I'm um, giving you new details about the news we have prepared for you for 2017. And um, before we go into the webinar, let me first mention that we are always there um, to answer questions, to get your feedback, and let us know where you, uh, where we can help to support you in order to implement um, the program within your club. So, this will be the agenda for um, our webinar, the topics we want to cover. Um, first of all, there will be a short introduction about the program, um, how it works, what the benefits are. Then, a really important uh, point, registration process. How does it work? How um, gets your club registered? And especially, how um, what need your members um, to do in order to be part of the program and make their points um, counted to your club correct. Recap 2016 season, uh, I want to give you a short overview of what we did and there again, if you have any feedback, we are happy to, give, uh, to get it from you. What is new in 2017? New race calendar, some changes in the qualification system and um, some new programs we are introducing for next year. And then, um, as a summary, then next steps, implementation of the program within your club. So again, um, this um, is a slide where we want to show you where we can, how we can support you, and, and um, we want to uh, know what we, what we can do in order to help you implementing the program. So, general information about the Ironman Triclub program, um, the development and the status of the program. It was invented in 2012 in North America, and um, this program is especially made for you guys, meaning athletes who are member of a club and racing with a club. So until 2012, more or less, Ironman racing was focused on the individual athlete, and this program tries now to bring a little more team spirit into the Ironman races. So meaning it offers you the opportunity to race together with your clubmates in, in a race and to fight together for an on-site win or for a championship title. And all points are counted towards a club and you fight together for uh, a big title. This is the main idea of the program. The program is for free, but it offers you a nice bunch of um, benefits. I will explain um, afterwards a little more in detail. Um, all clubs who are part of the program are divided into five divisions according to the number of their active members. So you see um, the divisions listed here. Division 1 is the biggest division with over 300 athletes and then it goes along to until Division 5 which is less than 25 athletes. Um, this refers always to active members so that means club members who are racing Ironman, Ironman 70.3 or 5150 so meaning these athletes who are collecting points for your club. Then we go along. We offer you within this program, we offer you mainly two different competitions. 
first one is the global online ranking. That works like that, that every time an athlete of your club racing Ironman, Ironman 70.3 or 5150 all over the world, this athlete gets points. These are the age group um, points. So the points we also take into account for your um, all world athlete status. And they will be accounted to your club. This global online ranking works over one year, so it starts beginning of January until end of December. And all the points um, generated from club members during this um, period of time will be accounted to your club. And then in the end of the year, we will have then um, the champions. So meaning we are awarding winners of the global and also regional um, tri-club ranking. The other um, competition we offer you guys is our EMEA Ironman Tri-Club Championship Series. So this one is a side competition. It consists out of 17 qualifying events distributed over the season and over the whole region. Each of this qualifying race works more or less like qualification modus for Kona. So at every of this qualification race, you guys are racing and we will have then the additional club ranking. You are divided again into your five divisions and then always the top three clubs at the end of this qualification race, they are eligible to race in the big final. And then in the final, your club, if you qualify during one of the qualification events, you are fighting then for the big European, Middle East and African Tri Club Championship title in the final. So this how, is how our um, championship series works. So this is an on-site competition. The nice thing with these two different competitions is that it reaches out to more or less all clubs. So the on-site competition um, refers to these club types who are always used to um, get together and um, participate in races all together, um, choosing their big club race where they go together. This is a kind of thing which works then within the Ironman Track Club Championship Series. The global online ranking is a good opportunity for these clubs who are spread out more over a region and not used to so much doing this kind of big team events, but have athletes who are racing a lot and also racing um, globally. And these clubs um, have good chances and the opportunity to be ranked in a good position in the global online ranking. So it offers both club types the opportunity to participate in um, our competitions. So this is an overview of uh, the benefits you um, you will get as soon as you are a member um, of the TriClub program. Um, I think a lot of you guys um, already know our benefits from on-site at our TriClub qualification races during 2016 or also 15. I just um, want to briefly pick some of these these benefits out of the benefit chart. Um, let's start, for example, with um, the priority um, bike racking. So um, this is here. Um, priority bike racks, that means we started this new in 2016. So we are giving um, you, you athletes from a tri club lower bib numbers. So we are normally starting with pro athletes, then we're having our old world athlete, and directly afterwards at our tri club races, we are giving these bib numbers then to our tri club athletes. And we are doing it like that, that we are sorting the tri club athletes according to their clubs. So meaning that you are racked together with your club members in the transition area. If all your club members registered um, before and uh, made sure that um, they are um, affiliated with a club. We are coming on that topic um, in the next slide. Um, yeah, 
So, and then um, Tri Club Info Boost, most of you probably have seen it. This is our athlete corner located in the expo area where you can find us. And we have our the Tri Club um, VIP list there, which is listed here, where all your club members are listed. And this is um, a thing you need to make sure that all members are listed there. Stop by at our Info Boost and check if all of them are at this list. Yeah, Tri Club Swim Caps, you might have also seen it during last season. We have these silver swim caps for you um, Tri Club athletes so that you can easily recognize during the race who is also racing for another Tri Club and where your competitors are located. Tri Club Village, um, this is a location on site where we have a reserved spot for you guys, for your supporters, for your friends and families. Um, along the run course near finish line, where you can set up a tent and cheer athletes you have on the course. Then, of course, Tri Club Awards for each qualifier race. Um, we, we are awarding the winning club on stage, so all your club members um, can come to the stage and get your trophy you earned during this um, qualification race. Early entry to selected races, you might have um, have seen that before. We did some of them um, during this season. So we are offering you guys exclusively, as you are a member of a Tri Club, we are giving you the possibility um, to register early, so meaning before general registration for all other people opens, that you can get into a race and secure all spots for your um, club members. So this is a really unique opportunity. Only you Tri Club members are getting this and our um, All World Athlete Gold Athletes, they are getting these um, special benefits. Um, yeah, one point I want to mention is our Bring More Get More program. You see it with the benefits here. Um, we introduced this new this season, so we um, gave special benefits to the three biggest clubs at our qualification races. And the benefits you can see here, special bike racking, so we marked the bike racks where this club was in the transition area with their logos. And reserved seating at Wards Banquet, we, um, we placed signs on the table so you did not have to worry that all of your members will get a place at the Wards Banquet. And then a meet a pro so we inv in, in, invited one uh, pro athletes um, to come to stop by at the athlete corner and to meet this tri club who won um, the Bring More Get More. And they had then the opportunity um, <clears throat> to ask questions um, about the race, about special preparation, about um, last tips on the race course or stuff like that. And this was definitely a thing which um, these clubs um, enjoyed a lot during the last season. Okay, then let's move on to the registration process. Um, in order to receive all the benefits I mentioned before and of course um, to make sure that all the points of your athletes get calculated for your club, it is necessary that every member of your team is registered for an Ironman account on Ironman.com, which is not the active account you created during your registration process to the race. So let me quickly explain how it works. You are going on Ironman.com and on the right hand side of our website there is this sign in button located where you can create your Ironman.com account. And then it looks like that. Sign up for an Ironman.com account. You sign in the needed information, first name, last name, email address, and so on. You will then get a verification email from us. And with a code, you enter it. And then your Ironman account is registered. If you then sign into your account, you are coming to that um, slide. It looks like that. 
account settings, my athlete profile, my races, so you have listed all this in your account. For us, for the club affiliation, this slide is important, athlete profile. And then if you go through it, you have here that field which says tri club affiliation. In that field, you're just typing in your club name, it is a drop down menu, and then your club will show up, you select it, and you save it, and then everything needed is done. Within 24 hours, you will show up um, in the Tri Club online ranking with your points um, accounted to your club. That's how it works. If an athlete has already an Ironman.com account, you just need to, to you just can skip the, the first steps I just mentioned. So you um, go directly again on Ironman.com on the right hand side. You have this sign in button, and then you're coming to to this um, this page, and you're typing in your username, your password, and then again like we had it before, you are logging into your account, and then here the important thing: Tri Club affiliation, selecting your club, clicking on save, and then again all your points are um, taken into account um, for your club. So we go ahead 2016 season. Again, a short overview what we did on site during the last season. Bring more, get more. Um, I explained already a little. This was the benefits we offered our three biggest club on clubs on site. So it's always kind of worth trying to be one of the biggest um, clubs in order to be um, to to enjoy these these benefits. We are always closing this um, this uh, bring more get more program four weeks before the race. So you need to make sure that four weeks before the race you have all your members um, signed up for the race and make sure that all your club members are registered um, for your club. So meaning they um, affiliated their profile with your club, what we just um, went through. And there's again a short question mentioned. Um, we want to get your feedback on these benefits. Do you like them or do you have other ideas you would like to see as part of the Bring More Get More? So feel free to shoot us a note and let us know what you think about that. Um, Ironman Athlete Corner, next point, this is our central spot at the um, expo area where we have the Tri Club Start List, which is a really important thing for you guys to check if all your um, athletes are mentioned there and um, all clubs will be accounted to your club. Of course, um, we were also there and happy to answer any questions you had <coughs> on the program or on the race, and of course a thing which was a lot of fun during the last season was our picture frame and a lot of you guys stopped by there and took pictures and shared them on Facebook and so on. Third point on the slide, our track lab village I mentioned shortly before, it's um, a unique opportunity for um, track labs only. Um, you can bring your friends, family and supporters put up a tent at a designated area along the run course near the finish line and then um, all of your support people can can um, gather there and cheer all racing members along the run course. All of the things I just mentioned here we will also have on site in 2017 and um, yeah, if you did not um, use these benefits so far, feel free to take advantage of it um, next season and um, again there. If you have any feedback on these benefits, any um, ideas you want to share with us, feel free to reach out anytime. What is new in 2017? I will introduce you to our new race calendar of the qualifier races. I will whoop, refer to our qualification system, what is new and introduce you to new initiatives 
the loyalty program and the first time athlete program. So this is our new schedule for next season. You might have seen it. We announced it last week. Um, <clears throat> it will consist out of 17 qualifying races outlined like that. Um, we have now included one race in the Middle East and in Africa. So that's also the reason why we changed the name to European, Middle East and African Tri Club Championship Series. As you can see, we have spread um, the calendar a little more over the whole region. And what is also new, we integrated 5150 full distance and one World Triathlon Series race. You can see it in the calendar. At some of the races, there is something mentioned in the brackets, like for example at Kreichgau or Italy, there is plus 5150 mentioned. So at these races, we have something new. So we are integrating the 5150 also in the results. So taking the example for Kreichgau, we are having the 70.3 race in the early morning of Sunday. It starts the 70.3 race and in the afternoon, we have the 5150 race. For 2017, both of these races will be taken for this qualification race. So meaning, if you have athletes participating in 70.3 race and in the 5150, both points will be calculated together in order to, um, to see which club is ranked the best for this qualification race. This will be the case for Kreichgau, for Italy, um, for Switzerland, in uh, Stockholm, by the World Triathlon Series, we also have the same. It's there, the Olympic distance and the sprint. Budapest with, again, a plus of 5150. And in Vichy, we will have the 70.3 and the full distance base taking into account. Another thing which is new for 2017, we have now top three clubs qualified and eligible to race in the championship final. So you need to make sure that you are ranked top three in your division in one of the qualifier races in order to be eligible to race in the final of 2017 um, championship series. The final for next season we will announce shortly. It will be, um, we will announce it in December and um, then we will have the schedule complete. Um, as a last line mentioned here in this slide, feedback on 2016 and 17, a race calendar in general, qualification races, and then we want to get your feedback on the final of the Track Club Championship series. Background of this is that, for example, our US colleagues, they are doing their championship final in the beginning of the next year. So they're having the whole season of qualification races and the final will not be in the end like we did it the last two years in the end of the season, but it will be at the beginning of the next race season. So for us that would mean in beginning or mid of May, something like that. So we would like to get your feedback on that topic. So are you as a club preferring to have the final directly at the end of the qualification season or do you prefer to have it at the beginning of the next season? So in order to get your team together to plan better on all the travel stuff and um, yeah, to get your, your club better organized to, um, to really be prepared to race in the final. So if you have an opinion um, on that, um, please feel free to shoot us an email or to call us and give us your uh, feedback on that. So this is our loyalty program. As I mentioned before, this will come new in 2017. It gives you the opportunity to get something back for all the points you earned during the year within the online ranking system. This will work in three tiers. So meaning um, you have to earn a certain amount of points according to your division in order to be um, eligible 
for the benefits mentioned in this tier. So just to give you a quick example, if you are, let's say, in Division 4 and you earned during, this is Division 4, and during um, the season you earned, let's say, um, 70,000 points. So you are then in Tier 3, so meaning you earned more than 50,000 but not more than 100,000. So you will be in Tier 3, and Tier 3 um, means then that you are eligible for two benefits. The benefits we are at the moment about to, um, to clarify, um, to select them. Um, we already have some ideas, but if you have um, wishes or additional ideas you want to share with us, you would like to see in this um, loyalty program, always feel free to reach out to us and to shoot us a note. Um, so we can also kind of shape the program um, a little according to your um, wishes. As soon as we have that in place, we will of course share the news and the um, information then with you. So, first time Ashley, that's also a new initiative for next year. Um, we know that you guys as club representative, as tri clubs, are doing a really good job in in um, introducing new people to our sport. So with all your training and with the coaches you have in your club and the club mates, um, helping people to get into the sport, knowing what it means to do a triathlon, participating in their first races and stuff like that. So tri clubs are a big a big number in that and a big help in order to get new people into the sport. As we know that, we also want to reward that a little to the work you are doing. So this is why we have this first time athlete program in place. And this will award the club who brings the most first time athlete um, to the brand. First time athlete, quick explanation, is athlete new to a brand, so meaning never raced this specific race before. And um, so that means we are having a 70 point, an athlete who did 70.3 races so far only and is now doing in 2017 an Ironman race, that means that this athlete is then a first time athlete to Ironman. For this program we will have a new online tool, the um, dashboard. This will, we have some screenshots out of this dashboard how it will look like. You tri club residents are able then to log in there and then you can see um, the name of your club and you can see your athletes and this is the first time tool. You see the name of the athlete and then you can see here which races this athlete already did and to which brand this athlete would be a first timer. So you can see there the opportunity one athlete is giving to your club in order to get mileage for this program. Every time an athlete is new to a brand, he or she will get mileage points for the race um, he or she did for the first time. And then again, this mileage will be um, accumulated together and then um, to your club and then we will award the clubs with the most mileage in the division and a wall. Besides that, this dashboard tool offers you also the possibility to check on your club members. So meaning you can see um, what athletes are registered with your club and what athletes are perhaps missing. And then you can reach out to them and tell them to register as well in order to get the points. And you can also see um, where your club is ranking within the online ranking. So this is um, how the first time athlete tool will look like. As soon as we have um, further news on that, we of course keep you um, updated as soon as it is ready and available. So, and then we are already at our last step. Uh, last slide, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Let's implement a program in your club. 
um, let us know if you need any support from us, if you um, need further information, if we could assist you and in hopping into a Skype conference at your club meeting um, in order to explain the program better, if we can send you um, club rosters to double check if all assets are registered, things like that. And um, besides that, we are interested on um, how your plans for the season um, are. So which races are you planning to go with a big group of your club, hopefully our qualification races. Let us know where we will meet on site. And um, yeah, again, as I mentioned during our webinar, if you have any feedback, ideas, improvements um, for our program, feel free to reach out to us, call us or shoot us an email. We are always interested in, in getting the program better and making it um, better for you as, as, as a club. We will also send you a short survey on topics we briefly touched during um, this webinar and we would be happy if you give us feedback and your thoughts um, on that. Last point on this slide, um, TriClub Facebook page, um, hopefully most of you guys know it. Um, this is um, more or less your community, your forum where you can share information with us. Um, we are introducing TriClubs um, to our community there, so if your club has not been introduced yet, just send us some information, some pictures about your TriClub and we are happy to present your club to um, the community to our European and Middle East and African tri clubs um, to make to to make um, the connection a little closer between um, the clubs. Yeah, and also I don't know if I mentioned it during the registration process. We are just having a new registration video, which is also shared on our tri club Facebook page. So there's the explanation how the whole registration process works and um, you can find things like that and all other important and stuff and news on the program. So um, go on Facebook, like our page and you will never miss um, any, any news on our program. Yeah, that's more or less all about the webinar for today. I hope um, there were some helpful information to you about the program, about the registration process and about the news um, we will have for you um, for next season. And um, thanks again for your time. If you have any questions, you need support, um, please feel free to contact us here again, our email address, triclubemea at ironman.com or your, our phone number. And um, yeah, that's for now. We are very much looking forward for the 2017 race series and um, we are really excited seeing you soon on site at one of our, our um, Tri Club qualification races. Thank you very much and bye bye, see you soon.